Today's sunshine note is titled, Shaking the Dust Off Your Feet. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave that home or town and shake the dust off your feet. Matthew chapter 10 verse 14. The fear of rejection can tie you up and hold you down by bullying its way into your brain and crowding out all your confidence. It keeps you from getting to know people and being yourself, and it causes you to stay quiet or distant from others. If the fear of rejection is controlling you, you won't be able to live the exciting life that God has planned for you. He calls you to be bold so that there is no time to worry about rejection. When Jesus was on earth, he put together a crew of 12 men to be his disciples and helpers. He gave them authority to drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and sickness. Then he dispatched them out to preach the gospel, expel demons, raise the dead, and heal the sick. As he sent them out to nearby towns and villages, he gave them this very important advice. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave that home or town and shake the dust off your feet. In other words, if anyone rejects you, just shake it off. Don't let it get you down. Hold your head up high and keep on going. Jesus wanted his disciples to have holy boldness, not a fear of rejection. If they always worried about what people would think of them, they would never be able to achieve the great things God had in store for them. A friend of mine always says, The one thing all real cool people have in common is they are not worried if people think they're cool or not. They just live their life confidently without fear of rejection or criticism. In a way, that is what Jesus was telling his followers to do. Follow God without worrying what people might say or think. The only opinion that really matters is God's. When you courageously follow Him, you can hold your head high. If people reject you or what you say when you are serving as His disciple, then just shake it off, move on, and see what God has in store for you next. Live it out. Ask yourself, What would I do if I knew I wouldn't be rejected? Then do these things. Don't let the fear of rejection hold you back from the amazing life God has for you. Pray about it. Ask for the God-given confidence to do what He wants you to do. If anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave the home or town and shake the dust off your feet. Matthew chapter 10 verse 14. May God bless you today.